Chief Warrant Officer Crawford developed an interest in the military when he joined the cadets in 1976 in St. Bruno. He joined the military in 1981 and upon completion of the infantry training was posted to 2nd Battalion, Royal Canadian Regiment. He served with 3 Commando, Airborne Regiment in 1988 and then went to Europe for five years. In 1996, upon return to CFB Petawawa and his move came with a promotion to Warrant Officer. Chief Warrant Officer Crawford transferred to the Primary Reserve in 2008, and in 2010, he assumed the duties of Regimental Sergeant Major at the Royal Montreal Regiment. His civilian employment continued as a member of the staff at the Canadian Forces College, non-commissioned members professional development career center as a facilitator, curriculum developer, and finally, director of senior appointments program. In 2013, Chief Officer Crawford moved to Ottawa and was employed at the Directorate of Reserves at NDHQ. He was appointed senior appointment list in April of 2016 and currently employed as the formation chief warrant officer for the National Cadets and Junior Canadian Rangers Support Group. During his leisure time, he enjoys traveling and spending time on the ski slopes as an instructor with the Canadian Ski Patrol, coaching and playing various sports, no notably rugby. In 2002, he became a volunteer with the Big Brothers Program in Montreal and has become a mentor for young men and stays very close with them still today. He is married and has two sons. Chief Petty Officer First Class Dave Bliss. Prior to enrolling to the Canadian Armed Forces in 1977, Chief Petty Officer Bliss was a cadet for four years with the 1913 Ontario Regiment Army Cadet Corps in Oshawa, Ontario. He, after enrolling in the, in the Navy as a weapons tech, he was assigned to the West Coast. Chief Bliss selected as coxswain of HMCS Winnipeg in January 2009 and in 2010 was appointed the Pacific Fleet Chief. He retired from the RCN in 2014 and re-enrolled in the Cadet Organization Administration and Training Services component of the reserves. Chief Petty Officer Bliss has the honor to be invested in the Order of Military Merit in November of 1992 and was presented the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal in June 2012. He and his wife, Laurel, have three grown children and who live on Vancouver Island. Brigadier General Cochrane. Brigadier General Cochrane grew up in Toronto enjoying five years as an air cadet prior to enrolling the Canadian Armed Forces in 1982. He received a baccalaureate degree in mechanical engineering from the Royal Military College of Kingston. General Cochrane graduated from the Canadian Armed Forces Command Staff College course in Toronto and holds a master's degree in defense studies from the RMC. General Cochrane graduated in 2012 from a year long Australia Defense College course. Upon returning to Canada in 2013, General Cochrane assumed the position of senior advisor of the National Security Advisor in Privy Council in Ottawa. Promoted to Brigadier General in 2015, he assumed the position of Commander 2 Air Div in Winnipeg, overseeing individual training and education for RCAF officers and NCMs. He is currently the commander of the National Cadet Junior Canadian Ranger Support Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and put on your headdress for the arrival of our dignitaries and remain standing for our national anthem which will be formed by the Cadet Support Unit Pacific Cadet Honor Band.
Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the change of appointment ceremony for the National Cadet and Junior Canadian Rangers Support Group. Formation Chief Warrant Officer from Chief Warrant Officer William Crawford to Chief Petty Officer First Class Dave Bliss. On behalf of our Commander, Brigadier General Cochran, Chief Warrant Officer Crawford, and Chief Bliss, we would like to acknowledge all family and friends who are joining us today via WebEx. Equally so to all the members from our formation and representatives from our Cadet League and the Leagues of Canada listening in this morning. Bonjour à tous les cadets et les rangers junior canadiens au Canada. We're privileged to have Brigadier General Dave Cochran, Commander National Cadet and Junior Canadian Rangers Sport Group, to preside over this ceremony. With us today, we also have Deputy Commander Colonel Paul Fleury, former Chef Etat Major Lieutenant Colonel Doris Gobey, and the Vice Chief of Defense Staff, Command Chief Warrant Officer Martin Colbay, and our Headquarter Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer Dave Cochran. I am Master Warrant Officer Pat Rizzo and I have the honor to be your Master of Ceremonies today. Today's ceremony will consist of an address from the outgoing Formation Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer Crawford, the signing ceremony, followed by the address from the presiding officer, Brigadier General Cochran, and closing words from our incoming Formation Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Bliss. We will conclude with the playing of the Royal Anthem. I now invite Chief Warrant Officer Crawford to come forward and say a few words. Thank you, Pat. Mesdames and Messieurs, the big day's here, finally. Um, so I'd like to thank you all for being present here today. Mesdames et Messieurs, il y a environ un mois, un mois et demi, le lieutenant général Lantier a pris sa retraite et lors de sa passation de commandement, il a indiqué dans son discours que ce n'était pas une excellente façon de, de dire au revoir. Je partage ces sentiments aujourd'hui. Cependant, ceci, c'est que nous devons faire pour protéger nos membres des Forces canadiennes, nos familles et, et, et tout le monde dans notre pays. Donc, je le comprends. There are so many people to welcome, especially in this new era of live feeds. I don't want to miss anyone joining us via video, so please bear with me. I would first like to acknowledge those present in the room today. The commander of the NCJCR, Brigadier General Cochran, the VCDS Command Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer Colbert. Merci d'être ici, mon ami. Cela signifie vraiment beaucoup pour moi. I'd like to mention that uh, me and the Command Chief Warrant Officer are from two different infantry regiments. He's from the Royal 22nd Regiment. I am from the RCR, but we serve together in the Airborne Regiment. Our paths have crossed many times over the years, and we've always remained good friends. Merci, ça veut dire beaucoup. I would also acknowledge the incoming Formation Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Petty, Chief Petty Officer First Class Dave Bliss. And I would also like to welcome Dave's spouse, Laurel, to Ottawa and the Formation. It's not their first time back in Ottawa, so uh, this is like coming home for them. I'd also like to acknowledge the outgoing uh, Chief of Staff, Lieutenant Colonel Gabay, who's been away from us for a little while and has taken the time to join us here today, so merci beaucoup, monsieur. The Deputy Commanding Officer, Colonel Fleury. The Headquarters Chief Warrant Officer, Chief Warrant Officer, Dave Cochran. And I would also welcome all those joining us remotely to include General and Flag Officers, both serving and retired, Senior Officers, my fellow Chief Petty Officer First Class and Chief Warrant Officers, members of the formation, all those who support the program because we are a vast program, the leagues, volunteers, parents, committees, cadets, JCRs from across Canada, my close friends, and most importantly, my family. I would like to begin by thanking my family. The fact that they could not be here today so that I can acknowledge them in person is truly a disappointment as they are ultimately the reason that I am still here after 38 years. I'm very much aware of the sacrifices my family have made for my career, especially these last seven years that I've been in Ottawa and they've been at home on the South Shore of Montreal. I will simply say to my wife, Joanne, my sons, Kevin and Derek, thank you for everything you have done to permit me to follow the career path that I have. I will never be able to repay you other than being more present in the future. I love you all very much. To the cadets, the reason that we exist, and the Junior Canadian Rangers. I left you all a message that will be able to be accessed on the Commander's app. 
but I did want to take this opportunity to acknowledge your commitment to the cadets or junior Canadian Rangers program. By committing to being a cadet or a JCR, you have become part of something bigger than yourself. You are part of a team that takes pride in citizenship, leadership, discipline, teamwork, and much more. The experiences and things you learn are all tools we provide you, and what you do with these tools for the remainder of your cadet or JCR service and beyond will set you apart later in life. Continuez votre bon travail. Ne laissez personne vous dire que vous ne pouvez pas réaliser vos rêves. Et je vous souhaite tous le meilleur dans votre progression dans la vie. To the CIC branch, the general service officers, general service NCMs, and all those who support the formation. There is so much that could be said about what you do for the program, and I was wondering how to capture it in the time I have here uh, today. There's really only one thing to say, and that is thank you for what you do. Without you, it's simple. This program does not exist. We are a Canada-wide program with close to 70,000 people spread out over more than 1,100 locations. It's the biggest single entity in the Canadian Armed Forces, and it is a success due to our people. So please know that your contribution is critical and second to none. I thank you all for your commitment to Canada's youth. To our five regional headquarters out there that make everything happen, Dans cette formation, vous êtes le facteur déterminant entre le succès ou l'échec du programme et je m'en voudrais de ne pas re reconnaître le travail important que vous faites. I specifically would like to acknowledge the regional chief warrant officers who support me on a regular basis. Chief Petty Officer First Class Mike Miller and Dan Legault, Chief Warrant Officers Jim Leamy, Gilles Godbout, Marina Roberge, Dave Cochran. They are, the part, they are part of my council and the group behind the scenes that help make things work and support the program on a daily basis. To the headquarters, au lieutenant colonel Gobeil et au colonel Fleury, il n'y a rien de plus à dire autre que vous êtes les bonnes personnes au bon endroit au bon moment pour faire avancer le programme, et ce fut un plaisir de travailler avec vous. I would also like to acknowledge the Deputy Chiefs of Staff and their people for their commitment to making things happen on a daily basis. And to our close-in support team, Major Levier, Fabiola, Roxanne, and my assistant, Master Warrant Officer Rizzo. Thank you very much. And finally, to my boss, Brigadier General Cochran. Sir, it's been a privilege to be your command team partner, and as busy as our travel schedule was, I always look forward to our discussions over supper while driving to a training center or somewhere in an airport in Canada. They say you're never too old to learn, and I did learn some very important lessons from you. I not only got to know you as an officer, but as a friend, and I will count you as one of my close friends long after I remove the uniform. To the incoming Formation Chief Warrant Officer, Dave, I envy you on the task you are about to undertake. I leave this job knowing it is in more than capable hands and there is no doubt that you will take your appointment to the next level. I wish you all the best, my friend. As this is not only the handover of the Formation Chief Warrant Officer, but also my last day in uniform, I have had mixed feelings about this day <clears throat> as, it, as it closes a major chapter in my life. I've had the pleasure of a very diverse career and served with some incredible people, Martin among them. The list is too long to name. If I had one wish right now, it would be to start this incredible voyage all over again. A lot of people in today's society ask what's in it for me. I feel quite the opposite. I feel like I owe everything to the institution that has given me so much. This event today is all about the cycle of a career well spent and being appreciative for the opportunity to have served this great country of ours. I thank you all for taking the time to join me today for this significant event within the formation and my career. I was wondering what to say today as a sign-off. Uh, the CF chief, a few days ago, said during his retirement speech, Niner Charlie out. That's our call sign as chief warrant officers in the Army, Niner Charlie. And the more I thought about it, the more it became apparent that I need to keep it simple or else I'd blow this whole speech. So, it is with full heart, fond memories that I simply say, 
Au revoir et merci. Farewell and thank you. Thank you, sir. We will now proceed with the signing of the scroll ceremony. I ask the Brigadier General Cochran, Chief Officer Crawford, and Chief Bliss to please prepare for the signing of the official change of appointment certificates. Nous allons maintenant procéder à la signature de la ceremony de parchment. Je demande le Brigadier General et les agents chef et chief de se procéder à la signature des documents officiels de la changement de designation. Good work. Congratulations. Done. Merci, Monsieur. J'invite Brigadier General Cochrane à s'adresser à l'Assemblée, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur. Good morning. Bon matin, Mesdames et Messieurs. Commodore Kurtz, uh, the incoming uh, commander, CJCR. Colonel Fleury. Deputy Commander CJCR, Chief Warrant Officer Colbert, Chief Warrant Officer Crawford and Spouse Joanne, Chief Petty Officer First Class Bliss and Spouse Laurel, Chief Warrant Officer Cochran, Lieutenant Colonel Gobey, distinguished guests, formation members, cadets, and junior Canadian Rangers across Canada watching virtually, Presidents and members of the Navy League, Army Cadet League, and Air Cadet League of Canada. Parents, volunteers, family, and friends. Bonjour à tous. Ceci est un jour très spécial. Today is the formal change of appointment ceremony for the Level 2 Formation Chief Warrant Officer <coughs> position of our National Cadet and Junior Canadian Ranger Support Group. Aujourd'hui, c'est la cérémonie officielle de changement de désignation pour le poste d'agent-chef de formation de niveau 2 pour notre groupe de soutien national au Cadet et aux Rangers Junior Canadiens. Thank you, everyone, for dialing in virtually for this important occasion as we adapt our battle rhythm and approach in this COVID-19 environment. Today, we recognize the five plus years of Chief Warrant Officer Crawford as the formation Chief Warrant Officer and welcome the incoming Chief, Chief Petty Officer First Class Bliss to this critical position. Chief Warrant Officer Crawford, you have had an incredible impact on this formation since its inception. With being here from the stand up over five years ago, you have witnessed the evolution and progress of this incredible organization. Ajoutant Chef Crawford, vous avez eu un impact incroyable sur cette formation depuis sa création. On entend ici depuis sa mise sur pied, il y a plus de cinq ans, vous avez été témoin de l'évolution et des progrès de cette organisation incroyable. Your leadership chief to the senior NCMs in the formation headquarters and across the regions was instrumental to our overall success. Your critical advice to the officers and staff in the formation on numerous dynamic and sensitive files were important in ensuring informed and sound decisions were made. You have played a crucial role in the formation's development, including spearheading the first heraldic badge for the formation. I know this was a long process, but all your hard work has definitely paid off with the final Governor General approval being received recently. We wear the formation crest proudly on our operational dress and admire it as it is displayed across the formation. I know we have had many conversations on this file. Please know, Chief, it is a positive legacy of your time with us at CJCR. Perseverance does pay off. Bravo, Zulu. 
Other key initiatives, uh, Chief, you have helped lead included, for example, a new clothing and dress manual for cadets and JCRs, a structured honors and awards committee construct working with the deputy commander, and the recent national CJCR formation kit shop with the Canix. Fantastic work. I would personally like to thank you, Chief, for your continued sage advice and friendship during our incredible command tour. It has been awesome. Je tiens personnellement à vous remercier, ajoutant chef, pour vos conseils avisés et votre émetillé pendant notre incroyable terme de commandement. C'était génial. Prior to COVID, we spent numerous days on the road as a command team, visiting corps and squadrons, ACRs, regionally and nationally directed activities, commanding officer co conferences, and of course, the busy travel during the summer 2019 cadet training center season, visiting 17 of the 22 locations. Great conversation and camaraderie all around as we tried to solve all the world's problems one day at a time. I do miss that special time, Chief, on the road, my friend. Depuis que le COVID a frappé le Canada en mars de cette année, je tiens à remercier votre épouse, Joanne, pour sa compréhension et sa patience avec les nombreuses heures et les temps passés loin de la maison familiale au cours des cinq dernières années. Agitant chef, vous avez joué un rôle crucial en apportant une contribution exceptionnelle au processus de prise de décision avec le plan de campagne et les divers plans d'action que nous avons suivis. Nous nous sommes tous deux concentrés, ainsi que le personnel senior de la formation sur la sécurité des cadets, des RGC et du personnel adulte pendant cette période de pandémie, et je vous remercie pour votre soutien incroyable. Chief, I want to personally thank you for your 38 plus years of dedicated service to the Canadian Armed Forces. With your strong leadership, extensive military experience, and passion for the cadet and JCR programs, we were extremely fortunate to have you as our inaugural formation chief warrant officer. You have made an incredible difference, Chief. Je vous souhaite une retraite bien méritée avec Joanne et vos garçons, Derek et Kevin, et votre famille. Profitez de la pause et de la détente et des merveilleuses promenades à moto lorsque le temps le permet. Voyagez en toute sécurité, mon ami. Bonne chance. To Chief Petty Officer Bliss, Chief, you are no stranger to this formation. You come with a wealth of experience as a previous fleet chief in the Royal Canadian Navy, a CTC chief warrant officer in Vernon, British Columbia, and recently as the RCSU chief in RCSU Pacific. Chief, I always enjoyed your focused comments and valuable input during our many discussions. I know you will continue to br bring a professional approach to the formation chief warrant officer position and set a strong example for the formation's adult members, cadets, and JCRs to follow. Chief Petty Officer Bliss, you are the ideal person to transition into the formation Chief Warrant Officer position. I know you will continue to move the yardsticks like your predecessor, and Commodore Kurtz and I look forward to you joining the command team in the formation HQ. To you and your wife, Laurel, welcome aboard and welcome to Ottawa. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for witnessing the formation Chief Warrant Officer Change of Appointment Ceremony virtually. I do appreciate everyone's flexibility in these challenging COVID times, and I know you will continue to show respect and full support to Chief Petty Officer First Class Bliss in this critical role as our formation Chief Warrant Officer. Merci, mesdames et messieurs, d'avoir assisté virtuellement à la cérémonie de changement de designation de l'adjutant chef de la formation. J'apprécie la flexibilité de chacun en ces temps difficiles de la COVID et je sais que vous continuerez à montrer du respect 
et votre appui au premier maître de première classe Bliss dans ce rôle essentiel en tant qu'ajoutant chef de la formation. Now, before I end, I do still have a few items to close, close with as part of my speech. Please bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, as I position myself for some follow-on presentations. Thank you, sir. Sir, I would like to request General Cochran and General Officer Crawford to please come forward for your presentation. On behalf of the Vice Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Rouleau, Brigadier General Cochran has the distinct pleasure of presenting a VCDS commendation to Chief Officer Crawford. The Vice Chief of Defense Staff commendation is hereby awarded to Chief Officer William John Crawford from 2016 to 2020 as the inaugural Formation Chief Warrant Officer to the National Cadet and Junior Canadian Rangers Support Group Chief Warrant Officer Crawford provided unwavering support and exemplary guidance to the command team and the support group. His contribution has reflected extremely well on the entire formation as he displayed outstanding professionalism and dedication. Chief Warrant Officer Crawford's commitment to the duty has brought great credit to himself and the Canadian Cadet Organizations and the Canadian Armed Forces signed Lieutenant General M.N. Rouleau, Vice Chief of Defence Staff. So for a second presentation, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, General Vance, Brigadier General Cochran would like to present Chief Officer Crawford with his Certificate of Service. It's a heavy one. The Certificate of Service presented to Chief Warrant Officer William J. Crawford. This certificate is awarded in recognition of your 38 years of service to Canada. On behalf of the Government of Canada and the Canadian Armed Forces, I thank you for your faithful devotion and service to our country, General Vance. So, Chief, uh, I, I must say it's great to see that uh, the VCDS commendation as well as uh, the certificate of service. And we wanted to make sure we did this so people virtually could see the recognition of the passion and dedication uh, you've given for 38 plus years, including the five plus years here as the formation chief warrant officer. So, uh, please, I, I'm, I'm sure uh, Joanne will let you find places uh, to put that up in uh, your den. And uh, please know that uh, we, we are thinking of you of a well-deserved uh, retirement. So, so, so Chief, I, I do have uh, some words uh, that uh, uh, your wonderful wife, Joanne, uh, provided to me that I'm going to read out. And I, I, I thought it was important that people uh, heard this because uh, family is a key part of the Canadian Armed Forces, and we cannot forget that. Uh, we... Uh, we are put through a lot. Uh, I know 38 plus years, uh, the chief had many deployments and uh, postings. 
and a lot of time away. And uh, we rely heavily on our families uh, as a support uh, at home. So uh, I'll just read out uh, what uh, Joanne, uh, Joanne was nice enough uh, to provide uh, um, that she wanted to pass on to, uh, to her husband. Bill and Dad, our new reality makes it that we can't be with you on this momentous day. Still, we wanted to make sure that you know how equally important it is for us to share this day with you. The military is not just about an individual's career, but also about the whole family and support system. So somehow we are also retiring from the calf. So true. There is a saying that if you do what you love, you don't work a day in your life. Well, you are a great example of this. From the time you were dropped off in Long Point to take a bus to recruit school to this very day, there has not been one morning that you weren't excited to continue the adventure. Not many people can say that. Your career has permitted us to live in fabulous and some not so fabulous places and meet wonderful people that we will continue to call friends. The result of this is a close-knit family, Team Crawford, who is open to other cultures, people, and adventures. We are extremely proud of you and your service to our country. We recognize you for your pride in wearing the uniform, your unshakable values, and for always doing the right thing. Congratulations on a well-deserved retirement. We are thrilled to have you home full-time and look forward to a whole new chapter of adventures together. Love your sons, Derek and Kevin, and your wife, Joanne. And I, I hope, Joanne, I know uh, you were planning to link in, and I hope uh, you were able to see this because uh, it, it's very special, the wording there, and I will provide a copy to the chief so he has it to... Uh, uh, in future. Well done. Thank you. Chief Petty Officer of First Class Bliss will now share a few words. Premier Maître and Premier Klaus Bliss, vous adressez maintenant la parole. Good morning. Brigadier General Cochran, Chief Warrant Officer Crawford, distinguished guests, Coats members, league representatives, parents, volunteers, family and friends, and most importantly, our cadets and junior Canadian Rangers from across Canada. I'll start off with, it's always difficult to come last in the sequence of speeches because everyone before you has used all the great lines and all the accolades have been beat up, so, uh, and very much deserved, but, uh, so this will be extremely short for you. Over the past two weeks, I've had the opportunity, along with the incoming formation commander, Commodore Kurtz, to be read into this vast machine of the National Cadet and Junior Canadian Ranger Support Group. In that time, it became pretty clear on how much of an influence in the formation Chief Warrant Officer Crawford has had in its shaping and direction. Bill, for five years and two formation commanders, you have epitomized what a senior appointed Chief Warrant Officer is. You have been a trusted advisor to the commander and the command team, a leader in successful efforts in our formation's identity project, as well as a champion for NCM recognition in the COATS organization. Due to your efforts, NCMs will play a greater role in the development of all personnel in the formation, and you richly deserve our thanks for that, as well as the mentoring you have provided over the years. I wish all the best to you and Joanne at the start of your well-deserved retirement. I am a strong advocate of the Cadet and Junior Canadian Ranger program. I started as a cadet many, many years ago. And over my career, I've always looked forward to the opportunities to stay in contact at the local level. Since transferring to the Coats organization six years ago, I have had the privilege to observe at CTCs and Corps and Squadrons the strengths and capabilities of the amazing young leaders we have throughout our formation, which continually reinforces my belief we deliver one of the best youth development programs in Canada. I want to thank my wife and my family and friends that supported my decision to take on this challenging role. General Cochran, I appreciate your confidence in appointing me as a formation chief warrant officer and the opportunity to continue to give back to this program. I look forward to working closely with each of the regional command teams 
and engaging as much as possible cadets and junior Canadian Rangers throughout the formation. Thank you. Please replace headdress and stand for the Royal Anthem. Remain standing while the dignitaries depart. The Royal Anthem will be played by the Northwest Regional Band. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you for your presence at this special day, and we wish you a pleasant day. Ce suis conduit la ceremonie d'aujourd'hui, s'il vous plaît. Remercions votre présence, et je vous souhaite une belle journée.